Alrighty guys, welcome back to Ark, where today we're going to be working on the farm. So you may notice here, I got me some thorny dragons, moralitops, um, and vultures. Those are the first three creatures that we need for our egg farm. I figured because we're on scorched earth, we do need to become a little self-efficient in making kibble. So we need to get a farm set up. And I also figured since we do need that farm, we may as well use scorched earth creatures. And it does help me check them off the genetic library list. And yeah, I figure this would probably good, be a good start. If we get all the Scorched Earth exclusive, or the Scorched Earth only creatures out the way, and then we go back and finish off the island, or at least start it up. We got a good start. We got like 10, and they're all just random creatures. It's not like alphabetical order or anything. Also, why are there so many random skulls just lying around my base? Damn. Like, that's the fifth one I've seen. Or has that been the same one? No, no, look at this. Look at this. I found another one. There's another skull over here. There's just... Is my... Is my house... There's another one! There's another one. Five feet... How many people died on this land? Oh my... There's literally skulls everywhere! There's bones! There's bones everywhere! How many people... I am living on a graveyard. I'm not... No, like, look at this. Like, how many... Oh my... I thought these were rocks. I thought these were rocks. They're skulls. Look, how many people died on this land? Oh my god, damn. Like, look at, like, as I'm just walking, like, skull, 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 skull. How many people have died here? Like, skull. I think that's the first skull. Like, is there any just up here? I feel like I walk, I like I walk past a skull every ten feet in this game now. But all right, now after I've rambled about the skulls everywhere, uh, what we need to do here is also give me that. What we need to do here is uh, we're what we're watching to make sure that these guys we get. What did I do here? That's what I did. We're making sure we're still trying to breed up the perfect Jeroboa here. This was the only one that happened, but as you see there, he has a mutation. I did get them a nice color. They're matching in color, but I still have to get their points. So then we got our Moralitops here. They got they got good stamina and health. That's what I went for in them. And then with the Thorny Dragons here, I wasn't too concerned about their stamina. But what I wanted for them was some good melee and good health on them. So, stamina should be pretty fine on them. And then again, on the vultures, they're just trash. Vultures are quite literally just a shoulder pet. I didn't know what to put on a vulture. Like, I understand. I think if you put raw meat in them, it rots faster. I can't even put raw meat in it. So, no, that's wrong. I'm, I've been completely wrong. I was right. Vultures are completely useless. You just wear them on your shoulder like a lot of the other shoulder pets. Also, it's time to hatch our first cluster of eggs here, I'm pretty sure. You shall oh my. No, oh no, that's the wrong one. I want to transfer these into my inventory, thank you. What we'll do here is we'll start with the vulture eggs, then we'll move on to the Moralitops eggs, and then we'll, uh... I, I have so many Jeroboas, I'm getting tired of hearing that noise. And I'm not even sure if that's the good noise for, like, yo, it's gonna rain, or if that's, uh... It's about to be a sandstorm. I'm pretty sure when they bury their face into the ground, that means heat wave. This might be sandstorm. Or lightning storm. There's two options here. Because it legit was just a heat wave. So I was watching it like bury its face in the ground and then the heat wave came up. So. So we know burying is heat wave. Um, are you grabbing your tail at all? No. This might be a sandstorm. Jump up and look over the horizon. I can't see out that way. There's too many trees. I think I legit just saw it. It loaded in for a split second of the frame. Sometimes you can see the sandstorms coming from like ways off. I think it gives you like a good two minutes heads, heads up when it loads in. Also, if you guys are still wondering what we're doing today... I could not think of anything to do today, and my video is running late. 
it is currently 7 o'clock tonight. This video is going to be out within an hour. Uh, I figured I'm going to show you me breeding up the creatures. Because I went and got my Moralitops and, and uh, Thorny Dragons yesterday. And then I realized I never recorded. I forgot to hit record. So the entire time I'm hitting my pause and start button. But the video had never, never had been said to start recording. So it's just like I'm hitting the button and it's doing nothing. Then today it's like, alright, we need to go do something. And then I decided to go in and do like something else for 12 hours. I went, in do, I went into my actual job. They called in because they needed somebody to come in and cover a shift. And I decided to go in and uh, cover that shift. Well, maybe I shouldn't have. But I will tell you this. I've been doing that here a lot recently. And I will say it has paid off. I've been wanting to do the Gears of War series. Like, play it through with you guys. Also, my, uh, vultures are spazzing here. I think you're the one... Eh, eh, I might have to just start gutting them down. You have a mutation. You don't have a mutation. I think I just need to pick one and we go... Like, where are all they going? Okay, they're, like, bound... Alright, they can't stand on this ground. That's what's happening. They're bouncing. Okay, so now that they've stabilized... Okay... Uh, you are terminate. You, eh, and you. You got all the stats. Again, if you guys don't know, I really don't care what is on the vultures. We'll take the 19. So you got no mutations and all that. I think I'm really just going after colors here on them. Vultures, again, are quite literally useless creatures to me. I have no clue why I'm taking... Oh, well, they have one use to me. Uh, they're going to be used as basically my dodos. So, technically, they serve the same purpose as the dodos do for me. They just give me eggs. I guess that's... I guess that's their purpose. They're my dodo. And I will... I will probably have to kill them all to extinction here. I do... Ah, oh, no. God dang it. Every time, every time I have to see that, I don't want to deal with the soul. I don't want to have to deal with- I never even claimed that Jeroboa. Why did I have to, like, have its soul? Also, sandstorm. That was, that was what that noise was. Glad I paid attention. So if it's barking in the air and scratching in the, it behind its ears, sandstorm. Okay, I just had two of my Moralitops hatch. Three of them now, actually. So, let's check their stats, see if there's any in here that we want to keep. Yeah, we'll keep you. No mutations, right? No mutations. You even got some decent colors, you know? We'll take him. Now, the other two, I'm pretty sure, are bad. Yep, they're bad. So, you guys just also... You spit one out, right? No? You guys should... We might have a youngling unaccounted for. In my base. I forgot to check the Jeroboas. There should... It shouldn't have gone... Well, yeah, actually, it could have. I legit, uh... Took out, down some terror birds. Or not terror birds, uh... You know. Also, I need to use a better tool than that. And I have a sword. I don't know why I've been trying to use a club to harvest them. So, there's... Oh, there it is! Oh! Wait, is there two of them? Come here. Oh! Ha! Chased it. You... Yeah, this is what I thought was going to happen. Why do you have to make me use a couple shots? Also, yes, I am just tossing their uh, essence. Because when I do go to tame an oasis... Or what I am doing here is I originally wanted to do it for my 2,000 subscriber special. And also, thank you guys! We hit 2,000 subs! We did it! We hit 2,000! And yeah, well, I wanted to do a 2,000 sub special. And what that was going to be was I made a mod. But... Unfortunately, I gave up on that as soon as it started. Legit, I did not have the time to just sit there and uh, play with the dev kit to learn that. 
and also record videos on the schedule that I have set and also work a full-time job. Um, so, yeah, that fell out. So I've been kind of waiting for someone to make a, like, better Oasis Storm mod, kind of. If you guys remember the Better Titans mod, where it brought their levels up to 150 and made them breedable. But I don't think that's going to happen, and that might be a little overpowered with the Oasisaurs. So what we might do is we might just go tame one here on Friday. That that could... No, that actually probably is not going to be what we do on Friday. Because it might be due tomorrow. Because we are doing a cave on Friday. Every Friday we're doing a cave. That's already something I had planned. So. Yeah. Okay, so. These guys are going. What are you doing? I think it's thunder... Oh, no, this is rainstorm, if I'm correct. Maybe. This might be thunderstorm. No, it's rain. They're grabbing their tails. It's rain. I already know this one. But, yeah. I got my thorny dragons down. We'll watch, make sure this one pops out. But, yeah. Uh, this was kind of, I guess, just a brief video of me rambling for a little bit. Just to kind of get one up for today. And give you guys a little bit of an update of what's going on in the series. Just to make you guys think I didn't give up on it. it it's a lot of things. I really don't know what I'm doing anymore sometimes. Okay, so Jamboa. Now we have to wait for a male out of these ones that has similar stats to you. Ugh, okay. Oh wait, are you even the right one? I didn't even check your melee. I just looked at your health. This might be even the wrong kind of Jamboa, because that was, uh... Yeah. If you don't know. I mean, I could. I don't know why. I said... Last episode when I tamed these guys up, I said, yeah, I'm going to uh, get the melee on them. And you know what? I'm not gonna... Uh, yeah. I am. I've already got the color fixed. And, yeah. I was also wondering if I should breed this guy's color into my Jeroboas. But I really like the ones that I got already into them. So this is the second pair down. So I already bred them once. And these guys popped out with the health I wanted. All right, or the colors I wanted. The health I wanted. But now I'm just trying to get the melee and health into one Jeroboa. You know? And it doesn't want to do that for some reason. I got these guys' colors to balance. And that happened almost immediately. And I got really lucky on that. But for some reason I, I do wonder if I should have bred this in. Just, you know, give them a variation. But they look really cute. They look cute the way they turned out. Okay. I've ran out of eggs in my inventory. I guess I'm kind of just waiting on the vultures to drop their last one. And I guess the thorny dragons. Because we got three of each last time. I think I'm missing... Is that what I was missing? We got... Camelosaurus... Why did the vultures take so long? Why do the vultures take so long? That's like actually a good question. You guys are slow. Actually, like, no, look at it. Their mating is slow. Compared to... You guys are already done. Look at that. That one goes up at by, like, two at a time. This is going up by, like, point. Oh, no, it's going up. But it's going... It's going up slower than this, definitely, watching it. Yeah, it's by, like, 1.5? 1 1.5 each time? What's this one? One and a half. I guess they're going the same amount. I'm just delusional. Also, yeah, I am still sorry. Again, I've said this a couple times this episode. I know it's a little half-baked. I'm just kind of doing it. So I have one for today. That's why you guys get to see my breeding process and all that with the creatures. And what I do to get all their... Ooh, this one came out. Mm, yep. that's. I was just double-checking. You gotta double-check sometimes. You never know. You might get ones that just don't have what you want. Or maybe you find one... I don't know. I think that one does work, the dark one, but I like the green more. So... Oh, come on! Alright. I gotta do this. I, I, I wasted an entire mag on them. They didn't die. They better die in one swipe of the blade. Okay. So, I still need two Jeroboas. Those are technically for something else, though. 
But for farm creatures, I need one more vulture. Another... I need... Alright. I need a female vulture, a female moralitops, and a female thorny dragon. So that way I can get breeding pairs going, or at least I can start breeding these stats down more to get them to level out. Sometimes, though, you might get lucky and you'll have one that pops out exactly, exactly the same as the one you already have. And you're like, oh, yeah, and you're done. Um, the sad thing, though, is uh, I have showed you guys this back in ASE, Arc Survival Evolved, when I would do these breedings. Um, I had a tool called the S Plus Mutator. And well, with that, I could sh I could mutate creatures, or I could even change the gender of creatures. So I'm not lying. Once I hit the tech level, I was legit shooting for twins with all the stats I need. Then once you had a twin pair, what you would do in at in Arc Survival Evolved is you would go get the mutator. You would uh, bring one of them over to it. You set it up so that way it would change their gender, and you just do it. And boom, you had an instant perfect mating pair, all right? Since they were twins, all you would have to do is just change one's gender in the game, all right? And then you have a mating pair of creatures. But unfortunately, in Ark Survival Evolved, or, yeah, no, in Ark Survival Evolved, you could do that. But unfortunately, in Ark Survival Ascended, nobody's made something like that, from my knowledge. But I've also been, personally, making it so that way my Ark game is only really uh, fixes or new creatures, really. That's what I've been aiming for. Or, like, say, this. I will say this. This is the most cheaty thing I have allowed myself. And that is Dur Dino Finder. Also, it got an update, so look at this. It actually shows me how many creatures are on the map for that species. So, like, there's actually, like, 66 Colicanth. Also, I just had all these guys look hatch. So we'll quickly take a look at these guys and then we'll hop back to that. Um, you're all male. Yeah, you're all male. Get these guys all cleaned up. I, d I yeah, all those vultures popped out as male. And I need a female. All right. Camel, camel, camelosaurus, camelosaurus, camelosaurus. That's what they are. I'm like, what the hell are these eggs sometimes? No, but for some reason, uh... Alright, so, like, I guess the scientific name for the Moralitops in Ark is Camelosaurus. Or I guess that's what its original name was before they named it the Moralitops. But I guess that's the scientific name, the Camelosaurus. I mean, it looks like a mammal, but it's a lizard, all right? It has fur. It It's named after, I mean, I guess it's not. This is the only part of its name that has camel in it. I always, I was be like, the Moralotops is named after the camel, but no, the egg's the only thing that's named after the camel. There's about to be another sandstorm. I've just paid attention to what they're doing. Look at them. It's been raining. It's a sandstorm. Oh, thunderstorm, maybe. Sandstorm or Thunderstorm? It's a different scratch behind the ears. I think when Sandstorms, they put their hands behind both ears and pet forward. This might be Thunderstorm. Also, yeah, I just had one pop out of them and it didn't turn out the one I want. These guys are about to pop. Please be a good Camelosaur I need. I need one with stamina and health. That's female. No mutations. Boom, boom. Okay. You know, you know, you know. There was probably a more efficient way of doing that. Probably I could just swung the sword. It probably one hits all these guys. I don't want to. Here's the thing I don't even want to swing it near the Jeroboas because it does 800 damage a swing. These guys only have about 700 health. I'm pretty sure I will one-shot one of my Jerobos if I swing my sword near them. Or at them. So. So, I was wrong. That was thunder- That wasn't thunderstorm. That was sandstorm. These eggs are about to hatch here as well. So, these are probably going to be the last eggs I do for this episode. And then we're probably going to call it. Um, I did want to just show you guys how I did my uh, breeding process here for creatures. 
twins out of one of those, I'm pretty sure. Twin... Oh, yeah, no, those twins would be immediately... Like, as I was saying, sometimes you get really lucky, and you get a pair that you... I might... I might go check and see if there's something like that on the market. Because I haven't actually looked here in a hot minute. See if there's a mod like that. But if there is... You don't... Actually, that one right there. That one right there is perfect. I don't need a mod. Again, I'm going to stick to the rules of my that I have set myself. I'm going to do no more cheating. I will say this. I have cheated quite a bit here in terms of like my own rules. I've gone to the island too many times. I said no island at all. Like I would not be heading back to the island at all for stuff. I've quite literally head back for a lot of this. Legit. I got tech binoculars. I got ammo. I got water canteens. I got, cr I got three creatures I brought over with me just to make this easier. All right. And yeah, this is me at this point. Just like rambling about the frustrations I have with this series and the rules I've broken that I have set myself. Also, the fact I just was like, maybe I should break this rule, but no. Again, sometimes that happens. <laughs> but again, uh, it is a sandstorm. It is going to be pretty hard for me to do an outro over this, so I will try, though. If you guys have somehow found yourself at any point liking this episode, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. And remember to hit that notification bell so that way you guys get notifications on when I post. Also, if you guys don't know, I am running a sub goal and a member's goal. So for our sub goal, we're currently trying to reach 10,000 subs this year. We just hit 2,000. I absolutely still believe we can hit that goal of 10,000. So let's keep it up. And if you guys want to go above being a sub, we are currently doing a membership goal. We're currently trying to reach 10 YouTube channel members. It's $1.99 to join up. Once we hit that goal of 10 members, we will be opening up an ARC server. Although we haven't decided on whether or not it's going to be public or private. Um, and yeah, anyways, this has been Gunshai Mori. Signing off. Peace.